What is going on, everyone? It's your boy Phil Shocker, the 96 Hedgehog here, and we are playing for the CDL Week One, where we take on Coach Paul Winder. Um, this is going to be a very interesting matchup, to say the least, ladies and gentlemen. Um, very bad matchup for us, I'm not gonna lie. Very tough matchup, but hopefully we can pull out a victory here. But if not, it's not the end of the world. Also, I'm not gonna really put too much effort in the video. I'm kind of just tired. It's been a long day. I actually just played a finals game, and unfortunately, spoiler alerts, I lost, and it was Wi-Fi, so I'm 0-2 for Wi-Fi finals, but I'm not too feeling bad about this one, and honestly, I just don't really have the effort, I really want to just do all the work to get the game in the background. Uh, shout out to my friend Brendan on Twitch, go follow him. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and send the challenge here to Paul Winder here. Uh, we're going to start week one off here. Now, we do have two leagues that will be going on past the DLC. Um, but like I said, I'm not gonna join that. But that's not fun. So they bring basically everything I expected. I forgot to move this back over. I'm smart. Uh, wow, no Galvantula. That is crazy. So we see a floor yes, which possibly was expected. And we see Rillaboom, which was something I could have saw coming. So I believe he does not have a Terramon in this game. So my banded El Tigre really loves a lot of this team here. I think I'm going to lead off with my Tauros just because doesn't have a good normal switch in. I could also lead off a Scorpion, but I don't really want to risk that. I also could just go lead Chompy. Chompy's not a bad lead either. Uh, I think I'm going to lead Twin Towers. Worst case scenario is he leads off with a Pokemon that can knock off. Latias. That's actually perfect. Uh, I think I'm just going to Totemize here. He could potentially hear Leech Seed here. Fiscal Fire. Very good play on my opponent's hand right here. But it's going to force my Meteor Beam here. Very good play on their end. Uh, let's count that damage real quick. Adios. Let's say your Double Dance versus my Celestia. So I don't think your Double Dance would be out of Mystical Fire. Let's go fire. That does 41 to 48 percent. They did about 48, so it looks like he got max roll there. So at neutral, meteor beam's not doing much. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna meteor beam here. There's two plays they could make right here. They could just go for another. They honestly could. Hmm. Kind of wishing I was physical now. Or mixed. I also low key wish I was weakness policy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very surprised they would risk that. But to be fair, I think looking at their team, I think Mystic, I think definitely uh, Celestial being weakness policy doesn't make the most sense. Because there's very few Pokemon on their team that's gonna make a proc. We have neutral attack. We get a big crit. That's a huge crit. And that's a max roll. That sucks. Oh well. Um That really sucks. So what kind of set is this Latios? Uh oh wait, we crit. Duh, stupid. Uh 50 to 59. That looks like a oh man, we got a low roll crit on that as well. So it looks like it's standard offensive. They've got to be modest. Yeah, that had a modest and they got a max roll. That's unfortunate. But, um... Hmm, which tells me that they're probably not max speed then. And Body Slam is looking pretty free right here. Body Slam nabs me a KO. It nabs me potential Perez. I'm going to go Bot Toro here. I'm just going to take Body Slam. There's no real reason not to. 
Um, they've got a couple plays they can make right here. They could either go for a, a sack here, or they go right into... They actually right into the Forges. Very surprised to see the Forges in. So, Forges... Let's look at that here. So 38 to 45 if it's max fizz dev, which it definitely looks like it is. If I get one workup off, you're basically in range. I'm going to work up here. He probably potentially wishes here a Moonblast. He's going to wish. So you are now in range of this body slam. So I'm going to go for it. There's two plays they can make here. They either protect here to scout what I'm going to do. Or they go Agron to take the hit here. To take the hit here. Um, and to tank this hit. Potentially they go Latios on potentially the fact I go do this. Because this basically is in range to where it dies. This is literally in range. So he does, they do make the aggressive Agron play. Get another crit. No pair off, but I think it's because I am sheer force. So let's look at Agron. So, regular, okay, come on, computer, come on. Alright, so, with a crit, body slam at plus one. Uh, that's looking like standard tank Garchomp. Uh, Garchomp. Uh, if he mega evolves, high horsepower does 27 to 32%. If he's got body press, how much is he doing to me? Uh, 43 to 51, so he could potentially try to set up his rocks here. I do think I want to gauge how much damage this is going to do. I know Tauros is kind of important in this matchup, but I want to gauge this damage. Plus, if, he's, if I... So he is 25%. He does have the body press. Okay, so there is that. I think we're going to make the Scorpio play now. It looks like he's this set. If he has Ice Punch, he has Ice Punch. I can't really stop that. Uh, right here, I think we either bait up the Ice Punch or we go for the Earthquake here. I think I'm supposed to go for the Earthquake here. There's no reason not to. We got another crit. Oh my god. We have Avalanche. That's good tech. And now they realistically don't have an answer to Kong. I go Conk here. Conk's actually not faster. We did pick up some massive crits. I won't deny it. If I go 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 here, I know I'm faster. If I start setting up with go go, I think let's see, we need to get to. I think I'm gonna pull the trigger. I think I'm going to pull the trigger on Go-Go here. Agron's low. Avalanche was good bring. I'm not going to lie. That's a really good bring. Sorry for the insanely loud vehicle outside. I don't know why people want to be so disrespectful. Oh, losing Gliscor early really sucks. Cause that was our best rule of boom answer. I'm not going to lie. That was a neutral answer, but it was still good. Uh, yeah, this was just a really, I'm not going to lie to you guys, this was a really bad week one matchup. I really didn't have much for this game. This was really, really bad. I mean, the fact that we have gotten lucky in this matchup with getting crits uh, is very, it's very fortunate for us. Don't get us wrong. Now, let's see here. He's going to avalanche here. I'm going to bulk up here again. Now, I know there's a chance he could go Lottie here. He's actually going to go to the Forges, actually. Forges. I'm at plus two. Terra. Hornly is just the same play right here. And Moonblast doesn't own for me. I think I'm just going to go both again. There's no reason not to. It's Quick Claw. Hello. Or unleash that down, so now we get back to the full. Alright, so floor just goes down. The tech quick flow, let's go, baby. Alright, so it's clicking ice beam. I think that's fair to say for this Latios. 
So there's a couple of plays we can make here, right? There, he's got to have ice beam. There's no reason you would not bring this in if you do not have ice beam. It's going to be a two at KO. I think I just go for the play rough. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm plus three defense, and this is his last special mon. So getting rid of this would be huge. Now he could over predict here. Actually, he's not mystical fire. Would he really have a? Would he really go for the ice beam with mystical fire? That is stronger. I'm gonna go for the player up here. The Dracos. You connect. Let's go. Go goat. My guy. So he went for the Draco meteor actually. In comes Cleavor, and I think. I think I Terra here. Wait, I'm plus three, right? I'm plus three, actually. So it's plus three, plus three. I Terra here, and I Horn Mage. Is there a chance Gogo -Go just wins? <laughs> Is there a chance Gogo -Go just wins? Get a U turn. I have Horn Leech. There's nothing that really takes us in. Mac Aggron comes in. 18%. Just Horn Leech again. There's no reason not to. Let's go, 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 baby! Now, not gonna lie, we're in this position because we got some lucky crits. Oh, oh, my brother. My brother in Christ. You don't realize what you just did. Rillaboom. Get your max HP with Grassy Terrain up. You don't do anything to me, and I can just Horn Leech for free here. 18%? How much does that do? So he's going to go into this. Cleavor's dead. I'm basically back up to full. And I think, let's see, 18%. That's Choice Banded. Choice Band. Yeah, that's Adamant Choice Banded. The Sneezler's in here. On Burden Sweeper. Plus one defense. No air balloon. You died stomping tantrum. Combat. There's no way this go go just picked up six kills. There's no way this go go just picked up six kills. There's no way this go go just picked up six kills. Oh my god, go go, you legend! Oh my god, go go, you freaking legend! <laughs> oh, no freaking way! Go go just got six kills. Because go go killed. Um, yeah, go go killed this, go go killed that, go go, go, go just got all six kills. Go go's the kill leader of week one, let's go. <laughs> Okay, first off, I want to say I'm incredibly sorry to Paul Winder. I definitely think those crits played a massive role into the game. I think at the end of the day, though, the crits from – the crits, in some hindsight, I feel like didn't matter in the end because it looked like you couldn't really – I mean, it wouldn't matter in the situation that you wouldn't have forced to sack like two Pokemon towards me potentially, and you could have had still Aggron at least half percentage at least healthy and then going from there. I love the Quick Claw tech. That Quick Claw tech was insane. Love it. Respect it. Um, but Chompy. How did a Go-Go just get six kills? Why? I love it, though, man. I love it. But, yeah. But GG's to them. Um, really do apologize for the crits. If you felt like they really mattered and cost you the game, I 100% apologize for that. I 100% do. But uh, Go Go just got six kills, and Go Go is now kill leader for week one. Let's go. And Go Go's getting thumbnail. <laughs> with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. And with that being said, thank you guys so much. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.